Bend the knee. Fellow Mogolas, everybody, this is Don Willie back again for another edition of Epic, Epic Battles, Battles of Ice, Ice and Fire. Fire. And as you can see here, I'm actually, you know, here in a nice little bar to bring you a barroom brawl. And with today's competitors, I have one who only appears in the TV show Game of Thrones and another one who appears in the books as well as the show. So, in this corner here, we have the legend of Jen Alley. That's right, if you say a man's name, that man dies. Man, oh man, double wielding knives, very dangerous. Carl Tanner of the Night's Watch. And over here, we have a guy who survived trial by combat, being jumped in the veil, Battle of the Blackwater, and Dorn, at least in the TV show. Sir Bron of the Blackwater. And to help me out, I got my man Mark from Enchantment of Eternity. We've done a few videos together. Very good guy. So, Mark, why don't you take it away? Carl Tanner is a legendary fighter from Jenna Alley. He was known as one of the uh, legendary street fighters. He pretty much won all of his fights. Uh, he's killed quite a few people. He was known pretty much even throughout the Night's Watch as someone who's uh, very deadly with the knives because he uses two knives in battle. Even Gren noted that he was just unstoppable with knives. Um, so he was quite a good battle, and during the mutineer of uh, Craster's Keep, once he took over Craster's Keep, he ran the whole place because every, all the other mutineers were intimidated by him. They wouldn't even think of challenging him because they know to challenge him would mean instant death. Yeah, so he's quite an undefeatable fighter in that moment, and also he has sort of no morals. He has no controls. He's a very, very dirty fighter. So if you come in, with like these morals, then that is a disadvantage to you because he will just do whatever it takes to kill you. So as for his weaknesses, he's a bit arrogant and he's a bit uh, overconfident. Jon Snow killed him because he was got too pestered by uh, one of Craster's wives. So he let himself be distracted because he was being all arrogant and he would let his anger get the better out of him. So that's one of the weaknesses too, is that he could possibly be distracted or overconfident. So as we know, Bronn is a sellsword that we meet when Tyrion is on his way to the Vale. This guy takes out a few of the people who were trying to maraud him and Catelyn Stark while they're on their way. This guy is the dude who was able to defeat a Vale Knight and toss him out of the moon door during the trial by combat where he stepped in for Tyrion because Lysatelli would not allow for Jamie Lannister to come in and battle for his little brother. Also, he survived the Battle of the Blackwater and I mean, come on, look at how many people wind up dying there and Stannis' army getting routed and all that. And let's not forget, after that, in the show, because we're not talking about the book version, uh, he goes to Dorn. He's able to take out three Dornish guards, you know, while Jamie is sitting there struggling with one. And look, if it wasn't for the fact that Gregor Clegane just happened to be the mountain. He probably would have fought for Tyrion in another trial by combat and probably would have won that one too. Now, as far as weaknesses on his part, I mean, look, even though he does happen to be a very skilled fighter, he's somebody who probably would also be easily distracted the same way as Carl Tanner. Uh, his overconfidence when it comes to battle could do him in. Like, look at what happened with him versus the Sand Snakes where he almost got himself killed by poisoning. But, I mean, look, this guy is also a very legendary fighter in his own right. And I think that Carl Tanner is going to have a very 
spirited contest on his hands. So, Mark, why is it that you think Carl Tanner, a fucking Gen Alley, would be able to best Braun, Sir Braun of the Blackwater? Well, I think the best argument for Carl Tanner winning is because he's a legend, a fucking legend, and he drinks wine from the skull of Gia fucking Moomont. <laughs> No, but but seriously, the thing with uh, Braun and Carl Tanner is they're both got no morals. They both have no compunction. But I feel that for Braun, that's a bigger strength for him. Like, I think that's the main reason why he won the trial by combat versus Sir Hugh, because Sir Hugh was fighting with honor. Whereas if he was up against someone like Carl Tanner, I don't think he'd fare as well. Whereas Cartana is used to fighting people with no morals because he's fought in all the shady fights in Genali. While that may be true, we're also talking about the same Braun who was able to, you know, or was willing to fight against Hill tribesmen when they were going to set upon him and Tyrion. And remember, he was able to take out a few of the marauders who were <clears throat> who had set upon Catelyn and Tyrion on the way to the Vale. So let's not, you know, think that he's only used to fighting these knights with their codes of chivalry who are too stupid to, you know, play in the mud. Well, yeah, that's that is a good point. But the Hill Tribesmen are sort of brutish fighters, and they're not really don't have the skills or the background of someone like uh, Carl Tanner. So he's just fighting like brutes and something. It's not, and I don't think he's really facing the adversary as like Carl Tanner. Now you could say the Sand Snakes are kind of like that because they don't have sort of high morals. But then again, he almost got killed by the Sand Snakes. So that's probably not a very good defense either. I mean, yeah, but we're talking three Sand Snakes versus one Braun and a very, very handicapped Jamie, where Carl Tanner had his whole mutineer thing. And look, yes, we already know if it wasn't for one of Craster's wives, John would have been a dead man. But it's not like he was sitting there besting John the way that that thing was in Castle Black. You know, John wound up tripping over something, you know, like a log or something, didn't he? It, it wasn't like he just uh, overpowered John. I mean, you know, Braun, on the other hand, is used to fighting uh, not only with a dagger, but with a long sword as well. And, you know, he's oh, also, we you know, he knows how to use a bow. Remember, he set the Blackwater on fire by himself. Well, you know, oh, pyromancers and all that, but you know my meaning. Yeah, I mean, maybe ranged combat would be a slight disadvantage to Carl, but I'm, I'm thinking if it's just a close one-on-one, -on -one, I think Carl has the clear advantage. Because, yeah, Jon Snow would have definitely been a dead man. Part of the main reason is because he was fighting with Longclaw in such a close quarters where the knives would totally kick ass. So if Bronn was also fighting with a long sword, then Carl would have the advantage there. And, if, uh, of course, if Braun was fighting with knives, and Carl's much better at knives than Braun, so I think either way, he has an advantage in close quarters. That is a very interesting point. I mean, and the thing about it is we haven't really seen Braun fight in close quarters combat other than his fight in the Vale. Everything else has been kind of open field combat, and it, and it does appear that Carl Tanner does have the slight edge. I mean, look, I think no matter who wins this battle, even the winner is going to walk away with some brand new scars. No one's walking away from this clean at the end of the day. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on your man, Carl? Just that he's a fucking legend. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you know what? And while Sir Bron of the Blackwater may have been knighted after the Blackwater. Uh huh, I don't I don't know that he actually is a legend. So for this one, I think the battle's gonna have to go to Carl Fulton Tanner 
of Jin Alley. And again, as I said before, though, this man is walking away with some new battle scars. He may lose the use of one hand. He may lose an eye. He may have to uh, walk around with a cane from now on. But I, I give Carl Tanner the slight advantage over Braun, uh, but with some heavy scarring afterwards. Yeah, I think I'd have to agree with that because I think either way, it would be a very, very close combat. Very close one. So this one was another very, very close one. Tough to decide, but, you know, I think when it comes to close quarters combat, especially in a place like this, I would have to give the very, very slight edge to Carl Tanner just based off of his years of experience fighting in close quarter combat. So, man, uh, look, I'm going to leave a card for you guys to click on in the upper right hand corner and you can vote who do you think should have won this particular battle. And again, thank you to Mark from Enchantment of Eternity for helping me out with this video. And I will be back next week for another one of these great battles. So, rate, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, come back for more. I'm about to go get me a drink. I spent my time, and this is Don Willie saying, Valor de Harris. Yeah.